Do you have advice for young people? We've been talking about mathematics quite a bit, but uh, in terms of their journey through education, through their career choices, through life, maybe middle school, high school, undergrad students, of how to live a life that they can be proud of? I think if I were to give advice to people, especially young people, my advice would be to always, it sounds really corny, but always believe in yourself and know that you can achieve because although that sounds like obvious, of course we want kids to know that they can achieve things. I know that millions of kids are in the school system have been given the message they cannot do things. Mm -hmm. And adults too. They have the idea, oh, I did okay in this. I went into this job because those other things I could never have done okay in. Mm -hmm. So actually when they hear, hey, maybe you could do those other things, even adults think, you know, maybe I can. And they go back and they encounter this knowledge and they relearn things and they change careers and amazing things happen. So for me, I think that message is really important. You can learn anything. Scientists try and find a limit. They're always trying to find a limit. Like how much can you really learn? What's the limit to how much you can learn? And they always come away not being able to find it. People mm -hmm. can just go further and further and further. And that is true of people born with brain um, you know, areas of their brain that aren't functioning well, that have what we call special needs. Some of those people also go on to develop and do amazing things. So I think that really experiencing that, knowing that, feeling, not just saying it, but knowing it mm -hmm. deeply, you can learn anything, is um, um, something I wish all people would have. Actually also applies when you've achieved some level of success too. What I find, like in my life with people that love me, when you achieve success, they, they keep celebrating your success and they want you to keep doing the thing that you were successful at, as opposed to s believing in that you can do something the, else, the, something, else mm -hmm. something big, whatever your heart says to do. Right. And one of the things that I realized the value of this, uh, you know, quite recently, which is sad to say, is how important it is to seek out uh, when you're younger to seek out mentors to seek mm -hmm. out the people like surround yourself with people that will believe in you yeah it's like a little bit is, yeah. is on you mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like uh you don't get that um sometimes if you go to like grad school you think you kind of land on a mentor maybe you pick a mentor based on the topic they're interested in but the reality is the people you surround yourself with they're going to define your life yeah. trajectory. That's so really so select people that- That's really true. And get away you. from people who don't believe who don't. in you. Sometimes parents can be that. They yeah. can love you deeply, but they be, you know, they set, it's the math thing we mentioned. They might set certain constraints on the beliefs that you have. And so in that, if you're interested in mathematics and your parents are not that interested in it, don't listen to your parents on that one dimension. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if people tell you you can't do things, you have to hear from other people who, who believe in you. I think you're absolutely right about that. It's so sad the number of people who've had those negative messages from parents. In my Limitless Mind book, I interviewed quite a few people who'd been told they couldn't do maths, sometimes by parents, sometimes by teachers. And f fortunately, they had got other ideas at some point in their life and realized there was this whole world of mathematical thinking that was open to them. So it's really important that people do connect with people who believe in them, however hard that might be to find those people. 